Hello there guys, welcome back, FMU here, and we're coming straight in on the finance page for funding the dream. Let me just move that out of the way. I keep calling it financing the dream, it's funding the dream. I keep calling it financing the dream, I need to get that into my head. Um, remember how I said to you the points when we would use the in-game editor for me as the owner to put in a little bit of money? I've decided that this would be one of those opportunities, so... I'm only going to put in just 100k into the balance, the overall balance, to cover a few things. So from my 160 million, we've already put in 600,000. So we're going to put in 100k. So we're going to do that now, okay? Just to bolster the finances. So there, one. We're not going to change anything else. That's that, okay? In fact, actually, I've just noticed something. We need to take that off, otherwise it'll be somebody else adding money and we don't want that. I didn't even realise that was on, to be honest. But there we go, we've done that for the first time. So Paul Howe's come along, me, I've decided, look, we need to put a little bit more money in to keep the club ticking over, because last season we lost 402 grand. And that is because we're a part-time, uh, we're a semi-professional club in a league that isn't making semi-professional club money. But we did that because I've got a little bit of clout behind me, a way to do a little bit of, you know, dominating in the lower leagues and zooming up through the division so you knew that was going to happen in the outset so don't start bitching and whinging about it if if you don't like it because we talked about that at the very beginning uh, and that's not having to go at anybody but sometimes you get new people that come along that don't pay attention early on then start having a moan uh, you get it on all series unfortunately so anyway Next up is we have pulled off an absolutely stonking signing this season. Um, he's retiring at the end of the year now. And I had to have conversations with him. And we had to pay him a bit extra um, wage-wise and stuff like that. We had to really coax him in. But uh, we've signed a former England international who's 37, 38. Um, so we'll have a look at him in a minute. But I noticed his last year, if you remember last year when we were doing the Hinkley save... Do you remember in the second season when Craig Gardner dropped all the way down to like the, I think it was the, was it the Valner Armour North or something with Rainworth? He just dropped from Premier League to Rainworth. And it's happening on this save as well. And I do think I remember Miles saying um, players getting towards the end of their careers will drop down the divisions now and play non-league football and stuff. I swear I heard him say that somewhere. I mean, I know Craig Gardner wasn't at that age last season. That was just bizarre how he just dropped from the Premier League to Rainworth. That was really bizarre. And it happened with a few other players. And uh, luckily for us, it happened because we managed to nick Gardner off Rainworth when we got up a couple of divisions. So it's starting to happen. It has happened to a couple of other players. I, can't remember. I think Kevin Nolan's moved to, to Lancaster. Actually, let me just double check. Give me a second. Give me a second and I'll just check it. I'm sure he has though. I'm sure I saw it. Maybe I'll... No, yeah, he has. Kevin Nolan, Lancaster. <laughs> Crazy. You know, 500 pounds a week. God, they've tanked it in for him. But yeah, so Kevin Nolan's dropped down to the Evo Stick division, which is interesting. But, um... Yeah, so, guys, we've we've signed Emil Heskey, to put it bluntly. The man, the legend that is Emil Heskey joined us. Now, I'm having to pay him £1,900 a week, and we don't even make that a week. So, that's why I've added that extra bit of money in, because he's our marquee signing, like a kind of a big statement. And I'm hoping that that's going to draw in more fans for the fact that we've got Emil Heskey playing for us because let's be honest he's going to be a massive pull at this level massive pull so he's come in um, and there's only a couple more that have come in Matty Langston I didn't realise was on the game this year so I'm chuffed to pieces he's on here and we picked him up on a free after being released by Dunstable so I'm really pleased with that I like Matty Langston I sign him a lot People who have watched my previous series know he was my di director of football on uh, the Hinkley save last year for a period of time. And then we had to re-sign a couple of our players because they got released. Uh, we couldn't get them to agree a contract in time, so we've had to re-sign them. But we've picked this guy up, uh, Kari Orig oh, Is that Ariogan? I can't... Is that an I? I think it is an I. Uh, no information. 
Yeah, Ollie Ogan. We've picked him up on a free from Guildford. He's a former Millwall trainer, but he had a good season for Guildford last year, so we've picked him up. Other than that, there's not been a lot that's gone on. I've tried to keep it as compa- Wow, look at that for a non-league ground. That is beautiful. That, I love that sort of stuff. Um, I've tried to keep the team as much, com- you know, together as I could. Um, pre-season-wise, we beat Quorn in the first game 2-0. Um two goals from Oziado who clean swept he won every single award at the end of the season awards last season he won the uh, you know player of the year the goal of the year the young player of the year and the signing of the year just clean sweep beat Luton bar uh, sorry drew 3-3 with Luton um Oli Ogan got his first goal for us there which was a bonus Emil Heskey picked up a knock in that match uh oh! Imagine that. Sign him, then he gets injured and doesn't play for the entire season. That'd just be our luck. Uh, we beat uh, Blaby and Wexton by three goals to nil, and then Yaxley came up against us. And we beat them by four goals to nil. So we've had a decent uh, pre-season against teams in the rounders, but it's the league we concentrate on. Now I've said this before: to get through these lower divisions a bit quicker, we're probably going to do three videos a season. Start, middle and end, okay? Just to get it out of the way and we'll do like a, a fairly longer video to go through some of the results and stuff and have a little look at a few things. So they're not going to be like just quick, you know, match gone. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of in-depth stuff on them if we get the chance. But today's is just going to be a real quick episode, really. Just wanting to show you the Emil Heskey thing, show you the results, because I'm feeling rough as hell today. I feel really ill. Um... And I just want to go and lie down, <laughs> basically, to put it bluntly. Another thing that's happened that's worrying me a little bit, okay? Um, where's it gone? Where's it gone? You know, on facilities, I put in the date. You remember I showed you we were moving to that new stadium? It's gone away, and it says cl- that our club is now owned by that. And I don't know if that means... If that means that... it. The, I've, I've, I'm a bit worried because we're supposed to be moving at the end of this season to our new ground and if we don't I'm not going to be best impressed so I'm a bit worried about that but we'll, we'll see going forwards I guess but we're opening the season with the Reigns Park away so it's a bit of an unknown for me because I don't really know uh, request current philosophies meeting I don't want to request no I don't want to Well, blow me down. Look at that. Cheltenham have offered us a job interview. Now this poses something. Okay. This has thrown me a little bit. Because I've got an idea. Okay, I've got an idea. You know how you get the regen staff? Okay. You get the regen staff. So what I was perhaps thinking of doing was. If I got a job interview. Go to the job interview. If I get the job. Okay. Retire this guy. But make, turn one of the new regen staffs into him. Give them his stats. And pop them in at Cheltenham. And then David Grody goes off. And does his own thing. You know, goes away because I was thinking I'm playing this as the owner not the manager so I'm not going to you know the likelihood here is the manager won't stay all those years do you know what I mean so I think I'm going to do it I don't want to do it that way okay I want to do it that way we'll attend this interview oh wow he's a happy fella we'll attend this interview and we'll see how it pans out Okay, so you have very little managerial experience and that concerns us a little. Can you explain why that is? Well, why offer me an interview then, you dollard? Um, My reputation speaks volumes. I'll do. Uh, It would be quite a change for you if you were to leave your current job here. Are you confident you handle a big jump? I'm ambitious. I'll do. Uh, Can you explain the financial problems surrounding your current job? There isn't any. Let's have a look. I think the results I've delivered on the pitch just to find a small overspend. That'll do. And the club is looking for a manager comfortable working with limited resources. 
Yep, that'll do. And then on what scale would you be looking to build the bathroom? Uh, I'm afraid I'd need to bring my own people. Uh, I'd rather not say either way. Uh, we understand the importance of having the right battery and stuff. Uh, I'd like the budget to be in place. Be a fair amount. I'd like to require. I'll put fair amount down, I guess. Uh, are there any aspects of the job you'd like to be like us to judge you on? Well, we like. He likes to play. David Grader likes to play possession football. He doesn't do defensive football. That'll, no, that, uh, I have no further philosophies. And if hired, would you? Uh, uh, we would expect you to. Uh, Playoff place. If given the job, slightly better. If given the job, the change for the players is suitable expectations. Uh, possession, yeah, I think the post transfer budget is realistic. I'd be happy to work with that budget. Yes. Okay. Are there any other requests? Nope. Okay. So David Grody's gone for his little interview. I wouldn't stand in my manager's way if it was an opportunity for them. So that's what we're doing. And I think that adds another dynamic to the game because now we're going to have um, the possibility of a regen David Grody going off on his own little journey. We can keep visiting him and seeing how he does, which I think would be pretty cool. I think it would be pretty cool. I know he wouldn't have the history with this club. Okay, I understand that. But we could work our way around that. We could perhaps use the in-game editor to put him in charge of the club then, terminate the contract maybe, um, and then put him into the job at Cheltenham or wherever he goes, something like that. And then we get to create a new manager coming in. And I think that would be pretty interesting. So if we go to the quick pick, obviously it's gone Addo and Heskey up top. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited to see Emil Heskey play. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. That'll do. Yes, I know they're unfit. Oh, guys, this could be pretty awesome. This could be pretty awesome. It could tank. I mean, we could get walloped. You don't know, do you, really? We're going in. Why are you on TV? 2D Classics, my friend. And goals. Thank you. How rude. Right, so. There's no point looking at their team and being like, oh, I wonder if I know him or know him. Because we're not going to. So, we'll skip on over. And I'm going to give them... Go out and dominate the match passionately. Okay. Well, fuck your balls. About 300 people have turned up at the house. So uh, we we'll have to do this game and call it a video, guys, because for some bizarre reason, people people want to see me. I don't know why. Oh, Hesky's in straight off the bat. Why is this so slow? I don't know why that's reset down to there. Fucking hell. But it's Emil Heskey straight off the bat doing what he does best. Putting it into row Z. Wow. Wow. 11 minutes of shit. Come on. Dale. Heskey. Oh, what a save. What a save to deny Emil Heskey. <laughs> that seems so weird saying that. What I say to deny Emil Heskey. I can't, he th kind of fits in though, because obviously Emil Heskey used to play for Leicester. And, you know, Earl Shilton is not far away from Leicester at all. Go on. Goal! Oziado popping up. Oziado, he's my laddo. Beautiful finish. I've also I've downloaded the uh, Better Pitches uh, texture pack from FM Scout, just FYI. Gives the uh, gives a better, apparent, more detailed look on the pitch and stuff, which is pretty cool on the three D highlights. So that's pretty cool. Some really good ones on there as well. I'm interested, be interested to see the um, synthetic pitches, what they look like on it. That'd be pretty awesome. Hopefully, when we move to our new ground, if it still bloody goes ahead, go on now, go on now. That's nice movement. Oh, <laughs> bang in your face. Plays it out to a co to Oh, he's done his man beautifully. Ad Addo, 2-0. No messing. No messing. 24 minutes on the clock. Reigns Park again. Their ass is whooped. And nice and look at him. He just did his man there. No messing. Sends the ball across. On the volley from Addo. It's got him. Look at Emil Heskey. Loving it. God, he looks a unit, doesn't he? Jesus. Looks like a big fella. Well, he is a big fella, but 
on the 3D match engine. He looks a big fella. So Reigns Park going to be oh they've messed up there. Oh lucky, lucky he could get to that before Ado. Otherwise that'd have been three 0 I reckon. But here's Heskey to Ado. Back to Heskey out to Dale. Oh into Witham. Oh oh Ado hat trick. Get in three 0 No messing around. We have hit the ground running, haven't we? We picked up where we left off. Pow in his face! <laughs> with him sets up Addo with his face. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's superb. <laughs> in your face. Right. It's all, I, I feel a bit awkward now recording this because I know there's people in the house and they don't... Live. I feel awkward knowing my wife can hear me sometimes. Le oh, they're in. Great save. Oh god, that hit the corner flag and went out. Uh, but I feel really kind of awkward knowing that people could possibly hear me shouting and screaming at a computer game. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel a little bit on edge. We'll be alright. We'll be fine. Fuck them, I don't care. Fuck you guys. Right, come on, Richards. With them. Dale. Richards. Addo. Oh, I nearly goes fourth. What was that all about? I thought he was going to get sent off then. Right, we could be pleased with today's efforts. Yes, we can. Passionately. Well done, fellas. Let's give Heskey a bit of a bit of a G up. Looks extremely delighted. He's just loving being here, I think. Uh, assertively. There's a lot more to come from you, and I know you've got what it takes. I know you can do it, Emil. Oh, <laughs> Perhaps we should, like... Try and get one of these players who's in their, on their last legs every season. So each season have like a retiring veteran if possible. Oh, that was woeful. Uh, each season have like a retiring veteran come to the club for their last season. That'd be pretty awesome. Should we try, get, try and get Peter Crouch next? That'd be funny. Go on, Emil. Go on. And we'll ask you doing his bit. Oh, fighter. That was close. Oh, Dixon puts it just wide. We gone on extended or something. No, we're still on key. Go on, Dale. Heskey, go oh, into the woodwork. Oh, so close. Heskey again. Oh, no. oh my God, we are absolutely smashing the shite out of these boys. We are giving them a lesson in life. I don't think we're going to see Emma Heskey get a debut goal though. Oh my god, he spooned that a bit, didn't he? Jesus. Woeful finish from the fella there. Right, let's get Dale and um, Adiogan off because we don't want him to get his sense off. So Agbo. Uh, Witham could come out on there. And you can jump into there. And then you can jump into there. Okay. That'll do us. <laughs> Because Emmanuel Williams, he, he's not actually a defender, I don't think, because he got 10 goals from midfield last season, but I know he can play in a few positions. Are they going to get one? Are they going to get one? It's a bit of a scramble at the back. Here's Flinders. And Emmanuel Williamson mops up the danger. Right, we're going to have to bring Emil Heskey off. This is a shame. I was hoping he might get a goal on his debut, but it's not happening. Heskey's off the pitch, kids. We didn't get to see a debut goal from him or Heskey, which sucks. <laughs> he played well, though. He put an effort in, didn't he? He put a bit of shift in. Come on. You give it bifters as... Uh, giving it bifter. <laughs> as, <laughs> as Jurgen Klopp says. Go on. Oh! Oh, what a goal from Witham! Alex Witham wellied that one in. That was beautiful. Beautiful from Witham. Look at this. Has a little look. It's it. Keeper. Backtracking. And in it drops. Beautiful from Witham. Woeful from the goalkeeper. But a 4-0 Thrapin. Dished out on the opening day. Superb stuff. Go on, get there. Oh, poor. That's it. Recover now. Oh, pulled us out of positions. 
Oh, yeah, they pulled us out of our shape beautifully there. Fantastic counter-attacking goal, that. Absolutely pulled us just out out of our comfort zone. Pulled position-wise, just... I can't even speak now. Position pull thing. They pulled us massively out of position. Tactically brilliant counter-attack, that. Wouldn't have been so good if, if it had been the higher level because the players would have been good enough to recover it. But are they going to get another? All of it at the bar. Mounts in a last injury time comeback. Go on, well done, James. Oh, with him trying to beat his man. But fantastic. Superb 4 1 win. Disappointed with the goal we conceded. But like I say, they did pull us apart very well for that counter attack that was superb the way they stretched us and it caught us out completely caught us out completely because they pulled they pulled a the player in um the guy giving away emmanuel williamson he pulled himself right out of his position which meant somebody had to go back and cover that which left that gap for the guy to come in it was clever clever play but we're top of the league well, joint top of the league. We would have been top if we hadn't conceded that goal. We would have been top on alphabetic order, which would be interesting. Um, but we've come out of that fantastically well. I'm really pleased with that. Well done to them. Well done to them. Heskey got, had a good debut. D didn't do anything spectacular. But he's going to do something at this level. I would be surprised if he doesn't get a few goals. Let's put it that way. He's got to get a few goals. It would be ridiculous if he doesn't. Absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, sorry, it's just a quick one, but like I say, people have come now and sucks ass. I think the next game, right, we're going to do, like I say, we're going to have to split it down, condense it right down. So we're going to do a results catch-up and transfer catch-up. Probably, we'll do it, no, we'll do a results catch-up Welling Garden City, I think. At home to Welling Garden City. And then we'll maybe do one. Might have to do it four videos a season. We'll do Welling Garden City. And then we'll do Youth Intake Day. And then we'll do End of Season. So we'll do it like that, okay? We'll do it in around those dates. So, guys, please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this. Um, hopefully, people are starting to... You know, enjoy the fact this series is back, and uh, if you really enjoy it, hit the subscribe button because that would be amazing. I would love you forever. And as always, guys, I always say this, and it's always true. It's been an absolute pleasure being in your face. Bye bye. <laughs>